if I was doing a 10k, um, which would involve obviously a lot more energy than doing a 1600 meter swim, I'd carbo load and that would be done two days before the race. But I think if you're doing a 1500 meter swim for the first time or you're doing a triathlon, certainly the night before, having um, some sort of carb, but don't overload on them too much because you will get really bloated. So having um, something like a lasagna rather than having a plate full of just pasta, it doesn't need to be just pasta, having lasagna and some bread, um, you know, something that you enjoy as well. You don't need to eat something that you're not going to enjoy because you will be a bit nervous. So um, generally eating food that you know you'll, you'll quite like, whether that's a pasta bake or um, a lasagna, trying to eat that the night before the race um, and making sure that you're finishing off your portions because um, you're going to need your energy for the next day and if you are getting quite nervous you're not going to want to eat very much so how much you'd normally eat just make sure you're trying to pack as much of that into your body as you can the night before the race. On the day of the race again you're probably going to be quite nervous so I would normally eat, make sure I'm having as much as I can eat four hours before the race. Sometimes the race is quite early and it means getting up at like 4am to make myself some toast which is really boring um, but it's part of what you should do so um, trying to basically eat whatever you can so I would have four slices of toast with um, some butter and some raspberry jam on there because I know that I'm going to eat that in the mornings. Uh, two hours before the race again making sure you either have a sandwich or something you know something quite light on your stomach but that's not something like milk or a smoothie because if you are getting quite nervous um, a full stomach of milk isn't necessarily the best idea. Just before the race um, if you can stomach something else to eat like a cereal bar then absolutely fantastic. If you can't stomach anything make sure you get a carbohydrate gel and you just empty the whole packet into a litre or half a litre bottle of water and just keep sipping that because you will be getting the carbohydrates that you need from the gel and you are sipping water but don't drink don't feel like you have to drink six pints of water before just before you swim because then you'll need the toilet and that's not going to be good for the race day.